Hello everyone, today I will show you everything that I've been using on my tech, which includes my computer, my tablet, my phone, and my gaming console. So let's start off with what's on my Mac. So the first thing you will notice about my setup is that it looks similar to an iPad. I was able to do this by using the app called Geek Tool for the time and date. If you want me to make a video about this, just leave a comment down below and I will try to do it when I'm able to. As for the icons, I just downloaded an iOS icon pack and replaced the icons in the application folder. And for the DAC background, I use the app called CDAC. I use CyberDAC all the time to wirelessly access my iPhone and iPad. I use this a lot when I'm messing around with my team or if I downloaded a movie from the movie box app, this is how I copy them to my Mac. Next is Handbrake. I use this app to convert movie files so I can import them to iTunes because sometimes when I download movies from the iTransmission app, my iPad cannot play them because they're in MKV or AVI format. So I have to transfer them on my iMac first and then convert them to the right format so I can watch them. I also have Skype here which I use to communicate with my family back home and Twitter where you can follow me at iPinoyTech if you want to say hi or get in touch with me. Next, let's go to the DAC. I have the Final Cut Pro app which is what I'm using to edit all my videos. And in connection with this, I'm also using the compressor app when exporting these videos. Next, I have the weather DAC. I think this is a free app which shows the weather on the DAC. And if you press on it, it will present you with a three day forecast. So that's about it on my home screen. Now, I just want to mention some apps that I also use. First is uTorrent for downloading stuff from the internet. This is what I use when downloading movies, music, apps, and other things. Next is Audacity. I use this app for my voiceovers. And then Adobe Photoshop if I want to edit my pictures. I also use Snaphill and Snapseed occasionally. Next, I have App Cleaner for uninstalling apps. Better Snap Tool for automatic resizing of windows when I drag them to the sides so I don't have to manually resize them. Caffeine to prevent my Mac to going to sleep mode. MacPaw Gemini to get rid of any duplicate files that I have in my Mac. Splashtop Streamer to let me remotely access my Mac using my iPhone or iPad. And Better Touch Tool which adds more feature to my trackpad. Lastly, I have MPlayer X and VLC as my media players of choice when watching movies. So there you go, that's what I have on my iMac. Now let's proceed to the next tech, which is my Sony PlayStation 4. Right now, I'm jumping between NBA 2K14 and Battlefield 4. I mostly play the Battlefield game, but when I find myself in a difficult mission and I die a lot, I switch to NBA 2K14 because it's a more relaxed game. I also have a PS3, which I use more for my Blu-ray movies. I'm not really into gaming, but it's a nice way to kill some time while waiting for my videos to render. Next tech is my jailbroken iPhone 5S. I like to keep everything simple on my phone. I only have one home screen with the most commonly used apps and the rest I just put inside the folder. I also have a widget here that shows the time, date, and the weather. I'm not going to go through all of this but I'm just going to mention some special ones. First, I have to find my friend so I know where my wife is as she works in home care and she drives all over Philadelphia. This way, I'll know where she is just for safety. Next is numbers, which I use to keep track of all my expenses. I also have the music app here for listening to music. Next is Capital One because I have a credit card by them and this is where I make my payments. Next, I have eBay where I buy and sell stuff. I also have Facebook for keeping track of what's going on with my friends, as well as the HBC app for banking. Next is the Philips U app to control the lighting in the room. I also use Shazam to tag new songs that I'm not familiar with so I can download them once they're available. Next is TurboScan. I use this a lot at work for sending my timesheets and other documents to my employer. So how this works is you take a picture of the document using the app, then it will convert the image to look like it was scanned from a scanner. I will then email the image to my employer straight from the app itself. It's a really cool app and I find this really useful. Next is TV show tracker. I watch a lot of TV shows and sometimes I just can't keep track of what and when a show is on TV. 
With this, it reminds me with a notification of what's coming on in the next few minutes. It also provides me with a list of episodes that I miss, so I can download them using the Movie Box app once they're available. I can then go back to this app and mark the episode as already seen. It also has a nice user interface. You can also see the summary of each episode, and sometimes they have trailers too. So yeah, if you like TV shows like I do, I highly recommend that you check this app out. Next, I also have the Twitter and YouTube apps, as well as the CD app since this is a jailbroken iPhone 5S. On the DAC, I have the Messages, Phone, Mail, and Reminders app which I use a lot on a daily basis. Now let's check out the other apps inside this folder. In the Entertainment folder, I have the Collectors app that catalogs all my Blu-ray collections as well as my PlayStation games. I also have the To Do Movies app. I'm a huge movie guy so I use this app to keep track of all the movies out right now or any upcoming ones that I like to watch so I don't miss a single movie. It also has trailers and photos from different movies. Next is Facetune. I use this for editing my pictures before I post them on Facebook or Instagram. I also have Flickster here for checking movie schedules as well as the Fuel Band app for my Fuel Band. Next, I have the Philips Insight app, which I use to control the wireless monitor that I set up on the living room. This is just for security reasons and it feels nice to have one at home. Next is PayPal, which I use for all my online shopping, Pebble for my Pebble smartwatch, and the Sony Play Memories app for wireless image importing from my RX100 M2. Inside the productivity folder, I have the Google Translate app which I use at work if I have a patient that doesn't understand or speak English. I use this app to somehow communicate with my patients. It gives me a written and verbal translation of an English word which is really awesome. Inside the shopping folder, I will just talk about Jack Threads. This is an online store for guys and this is where I usually get my clothing if I need to get one. They sometimes have sales and discounts, so I just jump on this whenever I can. Next is the Splashtop app, which I use to remotely access my Mac wherever I am. For example, if I need to retrieve important files from my Mac while I'm at work, I just use this app to control my Mac at home and send those files to me via email. I really love this app and I think it's a necessity for all Mac users. Trust me, this app really comes in handy. Moving on, let's check out some of the CD apps that I have. So there's Bridge for importing music and videos to my music and videos apps without using iTunes. I also have iTransmission and Movie Box for downloading movies. I also have the Setback app for quick profile and layout switching. And of course the XBMC app which I still use occasionally. Here I have iFile and Music Box which I use for downloading new songs. I just check what's new here and if I like it. I then download it and then import them to my music app via the Bridge app. Lastly, I have the MX Tube app for downloading YouTube videos that I like to keep on my phone. So that's it for my iPhone. Now let's go ahead and see what's on my iPad. I pretty much have the same apps here that I have on the iPhone, like Amazon and eBay for my online shopping. Find My Friends and You apps are also here. Now, Netflix made it to the home screen because I watch movies more on the iPad Air than on my iPhone 5S. Next, I have the Splashtop app here again, but I use it differently this time. Sometimes I leave my desk to do something else while rendering a video or converting a movie, so I use this app to check the progress of what I was doing on my Mac while I'm away from it. So once again, this is a must-have app for all Mac and iPad users. Next, I have the videos, VLC, and WeDrive apps in the home screen because like I said earlier, I watch more movies on my iPad Air than on my iPhone 5S. Next is the Movie Box app. I think this app is the main reason why I jailbreak my devices. I just love this app so much and I really enjoy having this on my iPad Air. You can also filter, sort, and manage all the movies and TV shows here. The qualities of the movies and TV shows that they have here are all very clear. They have a huge library of old and new movies and TV shows. If I miss an episode of a TV show, this app will have that episode in like few hours after. They're really up to date which is what I really like. I only wish somebody would make a version of this app for the Apple TV because it's really that good. 
If you have a jailbroken device, I highly recommend this app. You will really like it a lot. Now on my deck, I have the Facebook, Mail, Notes, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. I use the YouTube app on my iPad Air more than on my iPhone 5S. In fact, I don't really use the iPhone version when I'm at home because I always go for the iPad Air with its bigger screen. So there you go. That's it for the iPad Air. And that also sums up this what's on my tech video. So how about you guys? What's on your tech? Please leave a comment down below to let me know or even better, make a video about it. I love watching what other people have for their tech. Thanks so much for watching and have a nice day.